Hey fellow gardeners, it's Dana here from Lumberdale Garden and I'm going to be showing you today how you can separate all of these beautiful seeds from your milkweed pods um, so that you can have tons and tons of seeds without a lot of messy effort. So as you can see, um, a milkweed pod has a lot of seeds in it. Here, this one's all um, wrapped up inside, but inside here there's probably 100 to 200 seeds. Um, and if you try to separate these on your own with just your fingers, you can start getting really messy. So um, I'm gonna unwrap this one. We always keep ours uh, beautifully wrapped so that when it's time to open them, they can be all intact. Cause if you don't wrap them, um, they can just fly all over like they're doing right now. So, the best way to get these off is actually using a plastic bag. I don't love to use plastic, uh, but in this case, it's just the most efficient and you can use this plastic bag over and over again. So the materials I'm gonna show you today are, I'm gonna use this large gallon Ziploc plastic bag. Um, I have a roll of pennies, which uh, you don't need a whole roll, but I had that sitting around. And then just something to catch all the seeds with when you are done. So I just have a plate, but a bowl works too. So what I'm gonna show you is um, you can take your milkweed pods. So this pod is fully matured. Uh, it's been harvested when it was mostly dry, but hadn't opened up yet. Um, and so we cut it from the stalk when it was completely dry or close to completely dry, wrapped it with the twine that I showed you before. Um, and then it's been sitting there for about three months, just letting the seeds cure out and be ready to be harvested. You can harvest these sooner. Um, we just are getting to them for the first time right now. So here is one milkweed pod. Um, I'm gonna move my camera so that you can see what I'm doing with my hands. Um, and we will carry on. So here we go. Okay. This is the milkweed pod. And here's the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the pod and put it inside the bag, just like this, okay? And then the easiest way to remove all the fluff is by grabbing at the base and just sort of peeling it all out. It's really hard to see inside the bag, I know, but I was able to quickly remove all of the fluff just by grabbing it at its very base and then pulling, because that's where it's mainly connected. And as you can see, there's a bag full of fluff now. <laughs> it's pretty intense. So that's one milkweed pod. And there goes some fluffies. Oops. Um, that is just one milkweed pod right in there. I'm gonna do probably three at a time just so that uh, I can be really efficient. So I'm gonna do two more pods like that. So here we go, let's find two more. And I usually pick ones that are already starting to kind of fluff out. I wouldn't um, send this one to someone who bought a pod. Uh, just because, you know, it's nice to not have one that's already starting to fluff out. So here I go, I'm unwrapping it. And then I'm going to take this whole thing, put it in the bag, and open it. And there, see it's opening up. It's so beautiful. And Man, this is tough to see, but here we go. Did you see how it just bloomed right inside of there? Just taking them right out and leaving them in one big mess in the bag. Don't worry, the next step will help us get everything out of that pod. Okay, there's number two. Let's find number three. Who are you, lucky little guy? Um, oh yeah, this one here. See how that one's starting to come out? He's all ready. Now, of course, if you don't really want to um, shave all your seeds from, from your pod and you just want to take them out and let them go on the wind like they're kind of naturally doing right now, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you know, that's, that's its natural way of spreading. You don't have to separate all of these beautiful seeds from their fluff because that is how they spread in nature. Look at that. It's just a lovely thing, isn't it? There we go. So, like I said, I'm just gonna take it by the base and just, oh, look at that one came out really nice and cleanly. Look at that. That's so beautiful. See, you got an empty pod here, got a little bouquet 
of milkweed seeds. <laughs> Look at that. That's really cool. And actually, one other thing that I do sometimes, like if I get them really nice like this, you can just kind of start pulling them. But as you see, I pulled that one and it's already going to come out. So I am going to commit this one to the bag. And there it is. We've got our three pods in there. So here we are. Three pods worth of fluff. Now you can always just store them like this. That would be just fine. And kids would have fun um, just scattering them like this. But a lot of people really just want to get the seeds. And as you can see, some of the seeds have already fallen to the bottom of the bag. Um, and, you know, that's what we our goal is here on the next step is I am going to dump pennies in. And pennies are the standard for this operation um, from what I can tell. What the pennies do is they have enough weight on them to sort of shear the, uh, the little milkweed seed off from the fluff. So these things are kind of perfectly designed by weight and size to shear the seeds right off of the fluff for the most part. So here we go, let's put it in the bag. I put, let's see, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about 15, 10 to 15 pennies is all I'm gonna put in for now. Um, <laughs> we're losing milkweed like crazy. Uh, there we go. All right, so they're in there, and then we shake. So we just go like this. All right, Let's see what we got. I'm gonna shake some more. So what I saw here is there's still a lot connected to the fluff, um, but some are starting to come off. So that's what you want to see. Um, I might actually put a few more pennies in just to get a little bit better shear. Ooh, there goes some fluff. There we go. So maybe about 25 cents to 50 cents worth of pennies. Oh, oh yeah, that's coming a lot better. All that beautiful fluff kind of is starting to turn. Okay. Most of the seeds have sheared off at this point. Um, so what's really cool is now you can do a little density separation. So I kind of am, what I'm doing is I'm taking the seeds and trying to get them all into the corner of this bag. You see, well, they're all kind of starting to accumulate in the corner there. That's what we want to happen. And they aren't all off the fluff, but um, again, this is about efficiency sometimes, not so much uh, quality. So here they are. Okay. Let's see. So the next step, they're in the corner and the, the trick is to cut a hole in the corner that's small enough for the seeds to come out of, but not the pennies. So let's do that. Little seed hole. And then there's my plate. Let them go. That's the magic. Now I can be here a while just kind of getting all these seeds out. But that's how it works. There we go. That is the seed magic. Some of them are stuck behind these pennies, so I'm just gonna kind of move them around. And I should be able to get more out by the end of it all. But that's the magic of getting all these seeds away from their fluff and into your hands for planting. So if you have any questions, please just write them in the comments and I'm happy to respond to them. Um, but otherwise, good luck with uh, making your seeds separate from their fluff <laughs> and happy planting.